Was I the only one face desking when I saw the go all in scene? When you saw Erica wear all those outfits at once? Oh my god, dude. I, I, I was face palming. I, dude, I, I was face palming in that entire scene. That, oh my god. Oh my god. Erica. Oh my god. Dude. Now, that was so painful to watch. I want to be honest. It's not bad. The episode's not bad. I'm just saying that, that scene. Oh my god, that's so painful. It's so embarrassing just to even look at. And that's pretty fucking bad. Oh. No wonder you had Kyoya just walk off like he didn't even see her. He's like, he's like, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> he's like, I don't know her. That's exactly the way he acted when he, you know, saw Erica in that scene. Now, this episode, we had a little bit of romance progression, and it seems like we have a new love rival that has been introduced into this series. The reason why I'm saying that is because at the end of this, uh, Takeru actually admits he's fallen for Erika, and I know for a fact those words have a lot more meaning than just him saying it, trying to set it up to where Kyoyo would get jealous. I know for a fact that's going to have a major meaning later on, and judging by this being a romance and with this character being introduced and trying to help out Erika get her romance, yeah, that, that's definitely going to key flag like a romance rival. That, that's exactly what that is. So, one thing I will say. Takaru. Takaru's character, I want to say, I, I like his character. I really like his character. His personality, his he's very enthusiastic, and I, I just really love those type of characters when I watch these type of series. And I love his outgoing nature. He's a really cool character. It was really funny finding out he was in an all-boys school, and I'm like, what the fuck? You see him wearing a maid outfit in this, I'm like, okay, okay. So, yeah, anyways, past that scene. The episode, for the most part, is the antics of Takaru and Erika trying to make Kyoya either feel jealous or understand, you know, Erika's feelings to where he will fall in love with her. That's pretty much majority of the episode, honestly. Back and forth like this and getting to see the antics of these characters. And the alliance formed between Takaru and Erika, oh my god, that, that was pretty funny. I got a good laugh out of that part in this episode. Now, animation quality of the episode... Very good. It was definitely really over the top at the beginning part of this episode. I will say the animation and art quality in that scene where you saw the glasses on, you know, our main male character, Kilia and Erica. That glasses scene. Damn. I love that art right there. Did you see that? Totally shit. Yeah, and Erica just started freaking having nosebleeds. So she was like, oh. <laughs> just that, that was funny. That, that was really funny. Comedy, for the most part, really enjoyed the comedy this episode. I mean, if you've already loved the previous comedy from the other episodes, of course you're going to like probably the comedy from this episode. It is still confirmed at the end of this episode that Erica is a massive M. She's a super M. She is definitely a super M because she can put up with Kyoya's personality, his attitude, the way he treats her like it's nothing. I mean, like, in this episode, he says a line that actually got me kind of pissed off with him. I was actually going to come into this review, and I was actually going to just nail into Kyoya. I was. But after the entire revelation of what he said with Takaru, I was like, okay, fine. I, I looked past what he said to Erica, say, like, oh, you can do whatever you want with Erica. So, I mean, I was going to be pissed, but after seeing him say, like, you know, he will fall in love with Erica with his own terms when he wants to, I'm like, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. So, the conclusion of the episode, really good. There was a little bit of romance, you know, progression, but the main progression in this episode is the introduction of this new love rival. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this week's episode of Okami Shoujo. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? What was your favorite moments about it? I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.